in a few fights in my day. About two hundo, maybe two fitty. Yeah! You're dead, Becky! Where did the time go? Roger, just have a look around. There are plenty of other fish in the sea. I know you're proud of yourself for coming up with that, but I just want Klaus back. Well, when you love someone, you have to go after them. Is that how you got Stan? Bitch, I look like this. Homegirl don't chase, homegirl gets chased. Klaus wanted taboo and danger. I can give that to him. I'm gonna make this work. Homegirl don't even have to work. Homegirl get that paper all on her own. Stop that, you're white. I'm homegirl. Thanks for letting me go back on my medication, Mrs. S. Better than the alternative. Uh... Stan, from now on, I'll be taking all of Steve's spankings on his behalf. What? Why? Because his mistakes are a reflection on my parenting. When Steve fails, I fail. I don't know if that sounds... And he kept calling fouls like a bitch! Oh, well, I am gonna punish you on his behalf for that. Mama, the man said someone died upstairs. What if I see a g -g -g ghost I don't know, Steve. You'll probably p -p 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 piss your pants. Where am I? A hotel room. You're getting a lot better at drinking, Francine. Francine, I think I figured out why your catchphrase fell flat. Because it was a stupid idea. No, the words are right, just not the delivery. Try saying it like you've just been on a road trip through the South. Things are getting too spicy for the pepper. Now more like you just came in from playing in the snow, but you haven't had your hot chocolate yet. Things are getting too spicy for the pepper. Maybe more a mix of sadness that your dog died, relief because he was riddled with fatty lymphomas, and joy that you can now get a new kitty. Things are getting too spicy for the pepper. Watch Oscar-nominated actress Gabrielle Sidibe do it. Things are getting too spicy for the pepper. Francine, are you sure about this? Look, the sooner we kill this guy, the sooner we can start enjoying ourselves. Oh, I signed us up for hot air ballooning at sunset. Think we'll nail this guy by then? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Come on, what's so hard about it? Bam, bam, bam! I just killed that waiter, a baby, and a fat guy and a rascal. But honey, Joe's the outdoor activities director. He's always surrounded by people. So kill them all. I think it's hot when you talk like that, but that's not how we do things at the CIA. Look, I, I just need you to get him alone, then I can shoot him. Okay, well, you figure it out while I take out these two. Bam! Bam! Should have done that a long time ago. About time. It's four o'clock. Where are my four o'clock nachos? I got this one. Stephen Smith, I am your mother! If you don't get out of that cage, I will push you back up my clown hole and birth you again and name you my bitch. Now get out of that cage! Let me out of here! I'll let you out when Steve's a national champion. Here's a Nintendo to keep you busy. My mother says video games are bad for you. Yeah, well, so is smoking an eight ball of crack in 30 minutes, but that's how long it takes. Sup, Mountain Douche. Want a pound of cold one? Um, what? I was thinking we were gonna have dinner. Why is there a ping pong table in here? Uh, so we can play beer pong? I don't understand what's going on here. What's going on here is shots! 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 Everybody! Shots! 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 So, what time is dinner gonna be? Six. Nemo turned Steve into an apostate of Satan. He's probably just hungry. Steve, I just did a big Trader Joe's run. Pour yourself some unsweetened cherry juice. Maybe have it with some sunflower paste on a flax crisp. There's also a scallop shumai that tastes like nothing and a mushroom flatbread pizza that smells like nutsack. 